confidence is something that seems natural for some people. Either you have it or you don't. Well, that's not the case at all. Just like any other skill, it can be trained. And that is what we're doing today. I sometimes come across as a pretty confident and charismatic guy, but that's not always been the case. I grew up skinny, sometimes quiet, with an accent, and battling with dyslexia. With time, I was able to overcome all those obstacles, and you can do the same thing. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three steps that you can follow in any social situation to boost your confidence instantly. Step number one, free yourself. Your biggest limitations are inside your mind. In life, your actions and your belief follows what you believe about yourself internally. And so there's a very easy trick here. Feed yourself positive self-talk whenever you're by yourself. So how do you train yourself to give yourself positive self-talk? You catch yourself if you give yourself negative self-talk. If you tell yourself, oh, I'm so stupid that I did that. Oh, I'm such a loser. Catch yourself, don't let yourself do it. If you do it, just say, I'm awesome. Every morning, look yourself in the mirror and say, I am awesome. I am strong. I am powerful. I am loyal. I am good hearted. And I do the things that I believe. And literally, it's amazing the impact that this will have. And it might sound like a joke, but I'll give you a clear, concrete example from my life. One time in my life that I was afraid was my senior year of college. I took a computer science class called software engineering. It was the hardest computer science class at Brown. And I was falling behind big time. I was at risk of failing. So what I did is I took a notebook and every single morning, I would write lines in that notebook. I am good at computer science. I am good at computer science. I am good at computer science. And every night, before I went to bed, I was religious about this. I would write in that notebook and I believed at the time that I was not good at computer science. This is brainwashing yourself and it's one of the healthiest things that you can do for yourself because this is a limiting belief. There's no reason for you to believe this thing. And so if you write, I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm confident, you'll be surprised. You'll start acting confident little by little by little. Affirmations are literal magic. It's magic spells that you can write for yourself. So write affirmations, say them to yourself in the mirror, say them to yourself when you're alone. And what I highly recommend is especially if you're feeling low, record yourself in a voice memo saying the things that you want to be said about you and then listen to them back to yourself. Step number two, project confidence. Many years ago, I read a book called The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss and they had a trick there called Comfort Challenges. And so I did all these comfort challenges before college because I did not want to drink when I was in college and I wanted to have confidence without needing to drink. So I would go to a Starbucks and I would literally lie down on the ground for 15 seconds until somebody like shook me awake to make sure I'm alive. I would try to negotiate for a 15% discount for coffee just to put myself in situations that would make me feel a little bit nervous. And guess what? The more you do these things, the less you become shy and the less, the less inhibitions you have. You just go do. You exercise the muscle of doing and then doing becomes easier. Before I read this book, I read another book, one of my favorites, How to Win Friends by Dale Carnegie. And there's an entire chapter in that book about smiling. And what's amazing in smiling is it's reciprocal. If I smile at you, you typically will smile back at me. So I combined them together and I invented a game for myself. Every time I walk down the street and I see a stranger, I lock eyes with them and I smile in their direction. And my goal is like, I send so much positive energy in this direction that they can't not send it back. And Tony Robbins has a rule, the mind follows the body. And here's the thing, if you smile, physiologically, your brain will start to be happy. Just this interaction created joy created happiness, created confidence. And so confidence is built out of the belief that you will be okay, that you are safe. So the other trick is to just make other people feel safe. Embrace them, give them a hug, put your arm around them. It's just easy, small things that make other people around you feel safe and comfortable and will make you feel safe and comfortable as well. And it's amazing that what you're doing more than anything else in these situations is you're giving. Find a way to give good feelings to other people and you'll see that you feel more confident and they feel more comfortable around you. Step three, take action. Once you're in the right mindset, take action and get the ball rolling. There's many been many times where I've had to make a difficult phone call. And another rule is your success in life can be measured by the number of difficult conversations you have. So I gravitate towards these conversations. If there's a conversation I notice nobody else wants to have, people are scared, just for that reason alone, I wanna have the conversation right now. And I don't wait. Even if it's like 11.30 p.m. If I need to like talk to a teacher about something uncomfortable, I'm not gonna wait for the next day. Like there is no reason ever to wait because you feel nervous. Because nervousness does not go away, it just compounds. So just take action. So remember, above all else, confidence is a muscle and it can be trained. So if you are someone who is shy, just take it step by step. And so if you wanna learn more about these topics, check out this video about how to make friends. And I highly recommend reading the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss, specifically the comfort challenge section. And what you can do is Google four hour work week PDF on the internet and then upload that to the Speechify iPhone app. And you can just listen to it like an audiobook. It's an amazing experience. And with that, happy listening, my friends.